Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time it's another of my twice yearly channel updates. And amazingly, it's now seven years since I posted the first of these updates, since in December 2015 I explained how I was leaving University of Nottingham, starting a freelance career, and I planned to upload a new Explaining Computers video every Sunday. And here we are, 366 consecutively uploaded Sunday videos later, and I'm still doing it. It's clearly going OK. Anyway, in this video I'm going to give you an update on the channel, things coming soon, things like that. And I've been reminded by several viewers that I used to make these update videos on location. For example, back in December 2019 I shot the whole video on a beach in North Wales. And I did enjoy making these update videos on location, so I thought I'd do it again. And so now it's time for us to venture outside. Oh look, I've discovered ferns. I can't tell uh, whether they're running Windows or Linux. I can't quite tell from the variety, but they're very exciting. And Something else that's very exciting is that since I made the last of these update videos, Explaining Computers has passed 100 million views. I can't believe it, 100 million views of Explaining Computers videos. And something else I can't believe is that these views are truly global. I've been looking at the data and in the past 365 days, Explaining Computers videos have been watched in 187 countries. I find that absolutely staggering and it's, it's great to feel there's a global community built up around explaining computers. And talking of community, in the last of these updates I launched channel memberships for explaining computers and that's gone really well so thanks to everybody who's become a channel member. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. It's helping me to continue to, to make the channel, to keep it going with the, the weekly Sunday videos. And if you're interested in channel memberships, here's just a little advert for them in, in this uh, video, then click on the Join button just to find out what's going on. It doesn't join you automatically when you click the button, it just plays you a video of me and you go, aha, that's what's going on. And basically, if you become a channel member, what you get is something from me in the Community tab every Friday. Most Fridays it is a picture of something behind the scenes and a little thing that I write, but every fourth Friday it is an extra members only video. Again, looking at behind the scenes stuff, things like that. Anyway, that's the end of the advert. I'm not going to start doing brand deals, do not worry, but I'm just advertising channel memberships here on Explaining Computers. But uh, now that's enough of that. My uh, fern friends are telling me to move on. They want to get back to themselves. Good job Mr. Scissors isn't here, isn't it? Mr. Scissors would probably attack the ferns. So uh, I'll leave the ferns to get on being ferns and uh, we'll move on to the next location. As the old saying goes, first it was a fern, then it's a tree. Always good to come and talk to a tree, isn't it? This is a nice tree. I think it's called Michael. He's having a little chat to this tree. Anyway, shall we chat now about what's been going on with Explaining Computers in 2022 and what's hopefully coming up, what is coming up, let's be positive, in uh, 2023. And it's been a, a strange year, I think, 2022. Uh, obviously, like all things in technology, the channel's been affected by supply chain issues, people can't get hold of stuff, that obviously reduces interest in, in many technology things, and I'll say a bit more about that in, in the next segment of this video. But for now, let's talk about things other than things linked to uh, supply chain issues. And uh, one of the things that's worked quite well on the channel this year has been the videos about Risk V. I've made three Risk V videos, two SBC reviews and a more general Risk V video, and that seems to be garnering interest. And that's a theme that's going to continue. There's going to be a review of the Vision 5.2 single board computer, a Raspberry Pi priced, roughly Raspberry Pi power RISC V board coming out very soon. That'll be here on the channel either in later in December 2022 or maybe January 2023. And I'm also planning for early 2023 a Risk Five week video where I try and spend my whole week using Risk Five computing technology only and there'll be a Risk Five update looking more generally at the industry sometime 
for the second quarter 2023. I tried to do some 3D printing content this year and that uh, didn't really work, although the video I made about mesh room when I turned a large stone line into a small plastic line, that, that seemed to work quite nicely, but uh, other than that photogrammetry video, 3D printing clearly isn't something most people want to see on the channel, and that's cool, I'll keep experimenting. And for me, the videos I most like making this year, I think my two best videos of the year, were videos called um, Quieter PCs, Quieter PC number one, number two. Ironically, I'm talking about Quieter PCs as a plane is flying over. It doesn't matter where you go, does it? You can be in the middle of the park and a plane flies over and makes lots of noise. Anyway, says he looking back to his notes, the Quieter PC videos, I think they were my like, best videos of the year to PC hardware videos, lots of detail, all about power supplies and coolers and things. Not many people watch them. You see, I, I've, I've just been trying to get in sync with the channel this year. It hasn't, it hasn't always worked. I also made a video that I didn't expect would be that popular straight away about desktop PC hardware, all in computer graphics. That's the favorite Exploding Computers video I've ever made, probably because it was crafted literally to the frame over many months, and I think it just came out really well. But of course, it wasn't for everybody again. What else does it say in my bits of paper? It says operating systems. There have been a lot of videos about operating systems this year. There always are. There will continue to be. The Chrome OS Flex video, or at least the first Chrome OS Flex video I made, has been the most successful video of the year so far. Probably will be by the end of the year. It's getting, getting towards the end of the year now, isn't it? And of course, I've been looking at Linux videos or Linux operating systems. There'll be more Linux reviews and guides and software and stuff coming up, of course, in 2023. And something that has worked pretty well this year, having talked about some of the things that haven't necessarily, has been what I call the classic explaining computers videos, the ones that start explaining something. So for example, I've done an explaining USB all the way from 1.1 to USB 4 version 2. What a mess USB naming is. And we've had, uh, well, I keep forgetting them. We've had explaining chipsets, explaining image file formats, explaining front panel connectors. There'll be more of that type of video coming up. And do let me know in the comments the sort of things you'd like me to cover in an explaining something video. I made a video about DaVinci Resolve 18 earlier this year. I've made quite a few videos about video editors and particularly DaVinci Resolve in the past, and they've been very successful. And that one wasn't, so I didn't continue on that thread. But I am still planning to make some more videos about creative software, software that can be used for visual effects or maybe 3D or, or things like that. I might make some videos about Blender actually, because I've been doing 3D graphics for a very, very long time and I've been doing it in Lightwave 3D, which sadly is pretty much dead as, as a package now, which is very, very sad for me anyway. But um, I'm thinking of moving to Blender and maybe my move to Blender is an opportunity to make some Blender content. What do you think of that? Let me know. And of course, I will continue on this channel to look at broader things happening in computing. 2022 saw my sixth quantum computing update. I'm sure there'll be a seventh in 2023. And I'll also continue to try and find ways to talk about AI on the channel. I've never really cracked how do you make AI work as a general computing topic, but I know it's so important to computing, I'll keep trying. And I've also been thinking maybe I should make some content about virtual reality, about building stuff for the metaverse, things like that. What do you think about metaverse and VR videos? Again, let me know down in the comments section. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Batman's house. I'm standing by Wayne Manor. And before you go, Chris, you can't be, it's fictional. I'm currently filming in Walton Park in Nottingham, and behind me is Walton Hall, which has a starring role as Wayne Manor in one of the Christopher Nolan Batman films. It's a small world, isn't it? Although the world isn't quite as small as it used to be, at least in terms of globalization and supply chains and that type of thing. As you know, we've had massive supply chain disruption in technology and many other sectors for, for several years now. And this has affected things like the supply of our favorite Singapore computer, the Raspberry Pi. And things might get back to normal maybe in 2023, maybe second quarter, third quarter, cross our fingers. But 
Even if that happens, I'm not sure we're going to get back to where we were before all the supply chain disruption. Because after a few years, things move on, people's interests change. And I think the SBC marketplace and the development of SBCs is moving away from the maker and enthusiast in some respects anyway. We saw this in my recent review of the top five new single board computers 2022. Most of those were quite expensive boards. And I understand why. Single board computers aren't just made for makers and enthusiasts. They're made for industrial use, for edge computing, AI robotics, things like that, that need a lot of power but that pushes the price of the boards up and makes them less suitable, less desired by makers and enthusiasts. And on this channel, I will continue to reflect the whole SBC marketplace because I'm interested in single board computers. It's something the channel has become known for. But by and large, I'm gonna try and focus on the more enthusiast priced boards, probably focus towards more work, for example, around microcontrollers, the Raspberry Pi Pico and Pico W getting very, um, very big amongst makers for obvious reasons. They're available, they're, they're very well priced, and they're still quite powerful. So, as you can see, I'm a bit sort of caught exactly what to do with this. I'm not going to make all the content here about single board computers. Sometimes people say, your channel's only single board computers. It isn't. It's about 40% single board computers. But it is something that's become a, a pillar of a channel. I don't want to stop making single board computer content. I'll continue to make single board computer content, but I do want to reflect what the audience wants to see. So do tell me your views about where the single board computer marketplace is headed, what kind of single board computer content you want to see on explaining computers. So here we are at the end of another explaining computers channel update. Thanks for your support over the past year, and indeed longer than that for many of you. Thanks for viewing, and for liking, and subscribing, and commenting. And thanks also to those of you who've given me super thanks contributions and become a channel member. As we all know right now, social media in general, and YouTube more specifically, are in a little bit of transition. I think the future is slightly uncertain for a lot of the social media platforms, and YouTube's no different. And as has been the case across the past 14 years, I've got no plans to follow the crowd. I'm not going to turn explaining computers into a channel that makes vertical format, zero attention span content. That is not my style. I'm going to continue being here on the platform as an educator, as a filmmaker, and hopefully things will work out and I'll be able to continue making my weekly content in a viable way for years to come. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.